Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wednesday evening, Wednesday evening here on 40 meters. We'll get started here in a few minutes. Hope everybody's having a great day, a good evening as well. Hopefully our internet will stay with us tonight. We'll have a good live stream for you guys. One question before we get started, you guys can answer it if you hear me on the air or in the chat, is uh, what's your greatest long distance contact? What was the greatest distance that you had a contact with? And where was it? That'd be, that's kind of the, the theme tonight. And be curious to see who's, uh, who's had some unusual and the most long distance type of contact. So uh, we'll call, uh, see if the frequency's in use here in a few seconds. And hopefully we'll make a few contacts tonight. We can get our internet going, we'll be just fine. Holy mackerel. Hey, I'm sorry about that, folks. Um, internet has its own mind sometimes. <laughs> we'll get started here. Just a second. We'll get to see if we got the frequency working. Thanks for hanging in there. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? The frequency occupied. Nothing heard, nothing heard. A CQ, 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 40 meters. CQ, 40, CQ, 40. CQ, 40 meters, CQ, CQ. CQ, 40, CQ, 40. CQ, 40 meters. CQ, 40 meters, CQ, CQ. CQ, 40 meters. CQ, 40. Kilowatt zero radio whiskey bravo calling CQ 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 40 meters CQ 40 CQ 40 CQ 40 meters CQ CQ Kilowatt zero radio whiskey bravo calling CQ and listening Whiskey 8 Mike Tango Bravo Whiskey 8 Mike Tango Bravo what a great signal Jacob hey thanks for giving us a call the name here is Randy, and our QTH, we're 35 miles east of downtown Kansas City. Nice to hear you again. How are things going for you? 
Hey, Randy, thanks for uh, picking me up. Uh, nice to hear you on uh, 40 meters again. It's been a little while. Uh, and uh, nice to hear that my signal is getting out very well over there. Uh, I just got a new dipole put up uh, for 40, uh, 20, and 17 yesterday. So uh, glad to hear it's working well. It's only up about 12 feet, uh, but uh, it, I've got some really good reports with it. So happy to hear that. Uh, you are 5, uh, 9 plus 20, 5, 9 plus 20. You're also sounding really loud tonight over well i appreciate that jacob and uh you're uh, you're sitting right at five and nine good signal good signal as well appreciate it very much uh we didn't we didn't start off on a really good foot here had a few uh a few technical difficulties and uh i think um <laughs> i think we're getting it squared away uh we'll see what happens but uh yeah every night's an adventure uh, jacob if you uh you probably know so uh, hey this makes number three and, you know, if I told you in the beginning, uh, four contacts in my log, you become a regular. So uh, one more, and then we'll have you down as a regular in our in our uh, book. We're going to throw confetti and have a big party in your name there. Go ahead. Oh, Roger, Roger. Hey, that sounds good. Yeah, I don't really get over the 40 a lot, especially when the uh, the, the lower bands are open, like uh, 10 and 12 and 15. Lately, I've been uh, doing a bunch of stuff over there, and it's been uh, pretty fun, especially over the weekend. Uh, did you do anything over the weekend, over? Uh, no, we didn't participate in the uh, in the contest. Uh, we uh, we generally aren't on the air a whole lot or in the shack over the weekends. Uh, spend a little bit more time uh, with the family and so forth, and do some things on the property. Um, we had a few minutes here and there. We turned the radio on just to get an idea of what it was like, and and it was re really really nice to see that uh, that 10 was open and 15 was open. You couldn't see a clear spot on the waterfall on 20. And uh, I, I really I had a good idea that everybody had a great time. That was one of our one of our topics last night is if you participated and and I had one operator came back and said he worked 74 countries on 10 meters. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Uh, you know that's great. That just tells me the bands are open. Certainly they don't blame you for being on some of the other bands. Uh, this is what we kind of do in the evenings, of course. And uh, I guess it's kind of like an old shoe. It's always there and, and what have you. But um, we spent a little time earlier uh, this afternoon on 15 and 17, so the bands are open again. So, yeah, it's great to know that everything is working for us there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Wow, 74 countries. That's a lot. Yeah, well, I also had some family gather uh, gatherings over the weekend, and I was at my cousin's place, and he's also a uh, him and and uh, I operated from his station. Uh, he's got a 7300, and uh, I did manage to make about 27 contacts and did get to play on 10. And I was really surprised to see how uh, well 10 was working. I got all the way down in South America. That's the best I've ever seen 10. So uh, yeah, that, it was a it was a lot of fun. I mean, not to mention 15 and all that. Yeah, it was uh, a lot of fun over the weekend. Yeah, well, good for you. I'm glad uh, glad it uh, worked for you. Well, you know, I I was really hoping it was going to turn out well because just all, just about every day last week, uh, the band seemed to be in really really good shape, and uh, I was hoping that you know for the contester's sake and people who spent money you know to do a de expedition and that kind of stuff that they'd have good conditions and it seemed like it worked out real well. So. I'm certainly certainly glad that everybody seemed to have a good time. At least everyone I've talked with said they were able to make lots of contacts and so forth. So, so anyway, you're the first one tonight, and the tonight's question uh, that we do ask, and you can think about this. You take a moment. Uh, the question is, what is your greatest long distance contact that you've had so far that uh, that you can remember? Go ahead. Okay, the greatest uh, long distance contact. Uh, does it matter what band? It does not. Anything in general. Okay. I would say uh, it would be via satellite on 70 centimeters via AO91. I worked uh, Venezuela about two weeks ago on, uh, on satellite. That was a pretty cool over. Wow, that is great. Hey, good for you. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's, and uh, that's probably something you're not going to forget anytime soon. That, that is really neat. Uh, we had, we did this a couple of months ago, and I had one operator said that he made contact with an operator uh, up in Iceland, and he said that they're currently they only have like eight licensed ham operators in Iceland. I believe that's what he was saying, Iceland or Greenland. And I said, yeah, that's a very unique contact, uh, not maybe the distance wise, but very unique as well. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, good for you running satellite. That's pretty slick, and uh, I bet it was a great experience for both of you there. Go ahead. 
Oh, definitely. Yeah, and it was on uh, FM. It was on AO91, which is in, in FM, so it wasn't sideband either. I know on the, I don't do the sideband satellites. I don't have a setup for that. Uh, but I know on the sideband satellites, I think you can work DX. I think you can get your DXCC. Uh, you've got a much larger footprint. But, uh, yeah, I've been uh, kind of pushing for some more DX on the uh, AO91 there. And uh, I can normally hear uh, Caribbean and uh, Central America, but not often South America, so it's pretty tough to get to Venezuela, uh, Venezuela there, over. Oh, I think that's great. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, you know, and it's kind of like um, the way the bands have been the last, uh, you know, week or so. Um, you're starting to hear stations, that, at least for me, I haven't heard in a long time. And that's the great thing. You know, you may have a contact a year or two or even longer, and now the bands are back open and you're making those contacts again. Uh, there's a couple of stations that we worked Oh, gosh, back in 2014, back in 2012 in South America. And they came in the other day. Uh, we were on 15. It's kind of like, you know, sitting in your room with you. They, their signals were so strong. The band was wide open. And kind of cool to be able to make those contacts again and, you know, just kind of catch up briefly, of course, uh, over that time frame. So that's very cool. I'm glad that works for you. And, yeah, working at FM, and that's just going to be great audio. <laughs> I don't get much better than that there, Roger. Oh, yeah, yeah, it sounds really nice. Yeah, definitely. All righty, Randy, it was uh, great catching you, uh, you here on uh, 40 again. I'm going to get uh, going here. i got to get off, so I'm going to try to catch Alex uh, on 40 here. That'll be a new band for us. I'm going to see if I can uh, catch him, and then uh, i got to get going. But uh, uh, once again, uh, great signal. Uh, when I heard you were by Alex, you were 30 over 9. You know, it's kind of good tonight, over. Yeah, no problem at all, Jacob. Uh, he was down at uh, 7190. Uh, I stopped in and said hi to him real quick. Uh, we had to uh, give it a few minutes until we could get things squared away up here and then told him we'd move up a little bit. So and we're, we try to float around here. We may have to move around just a little bit more yet, depending on, you know, the signals and different things and what have you. But uh, yeah, I think he's still been down there. He popped up on my live stream a while ago as well. So uh, give him a shot, uh, a shout, of course, and uh, tell him again I said hi. We didn't have a chance to talk too long. There's a lot of stations out there but hey nice to hear tonight and uh, yeah it's probably about time it looks like uh, june is what i'm showing that you and i uh, had t had a chance to talk last so i guess we were about due it does uh, it really is amazing how quickly the time flies so uh, but anyway uh, i'm sure we'll have a chance to talk again uh, we do have an, a special event coming up in december uh, called the Christmas Train. I've got some info on my QRZ page. You get a chance to take a look at that. We'd love to have you check in. We've got uh, five operators around the country that's going to be doing this, so we'd love to have you uh, uh, in our logs there for sure. So, hey, enjoy the rest of your night. Give Alex a call, and uh, nice to hear you once again. Uh, and uh, we're, we're going to be here as much as we can, so if you hear us, you know, Jacob, give us a call. Uh, Whiskey 8, Mike Tango Bravo, the Kilowatt Zero, a Radio Whiskey Bravo. Thank you, Jacob. Have a good night. Hey, sounds good, Randy. I'll definitely uh, say hi to Alex for you uh, if I can uh, get through to him there. So, uh, hey, and I'll uh, look for you in the special event if we don't talk uh, before then. So, uh, hey, uh, thanks for picking me up and, uh, and uh, talk to you soon. 73, uh, K0RWB, W8MCD. Hey, I like the call, by the way, too. 73. All right, my friend, sounds good. Uh, K0RWB, QRZ, any other stations come with your call, please? Hello, Echo 8, Romeo Bravo Yankee. Oh, gosh. You better have some good news for me tonight. to hear it uh hey david we may have to move we've got somebody right below me that's just just banging away uh let's let's try to go up one shall we 72 24 maybe that'll go away on my end okay roger that okay we're going to qsy 72 24 well david did you make it there k0 how do we beam back to you uh, roger that i made it randy uh like i said we had 28 degrees this morning so Started, that's fine. So I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. Well, at 28 degrees, I don't blame you. I think I would uh, 
just uh, grab me another cup of coffee and sit at the kitchen table. So <laughs> I don't blame you. I did notice with ours, I looked here uh, the next couple of days, we're supposed to get a uh, little increases each day. And I think the mid mid 60s on Saturday, 57 tomorrow, 63 on Friday. Uh, and a little bit more on Saturday. I'm not really a weatherman per se, but that's what I remember. So hopefully that weather will show up your direction as well there, Roger. Yeah, copy that. Uh, what I looked at just here a few minutes ago was a low high 50, you know, like 58 to 60 degrees through the weekend. But sunshine, cool in the morning. Well, yeah, good for you. Uh, your temps are, are going to be a lot warmer than what ours are. Uh, I don't know exactly. I haven't really paid attention as to what kind of a front or anything that's going on. But you know, we we get up in the morning, we look at the at the uh, weather station to see what the temp is, and we figure how we're going to work our day from that point on. But uh, we're still wearing shorts in the afternoon, so it hasn't been terribly bad. Uh, we're still doing some work out in our shop with some projects we're doing, so we haven't uh, haven't had to go to pants just yet. I know that's coming, but. We try to hold off as long as we can, but well, that's all right though. You know, the weather gets a little bit better, you'll get the rest of those finished. I know you said you've got uh, antenna up, but um, I know you're not too far from having the project completed. And uh, boy, it'll sure be with it worth it when you get done there. Go ahead. I was going to say that's probably a little bit more on the front burner uh, in the sewing room than probably some of the other projects. But uh, uh, all the conversations we've had, I have a feeling that you're pretty good at balancing and juggling projects. So I have no doubt you'll get them all completed. I will get it. And I've got many on the burner besides the big, but just a little thing. I'll get them done eventually. I'm no hurry. Yeah, I'm going to say they're still going to be there. Uh, I have a few like that myself. A few of them I actually put off. Uh, that's the that's the only issue. We put them off, <laughs> and at some point uh, we're going to have to really address them a little bit more. But uh, uh, we'll get there eventually, I know. But uh, I'm hoping to get a few of these done before we get the first snowflake, and then I'll feel better after that. But, uh, uh, you know, time is of the essence on some of these things, trying to get – some equipment winterized and that kind of stuff. So some of the other stuff got pushed to the side. But, yeah, at some point we'll get them all completed, and then we'll find something else to do. Roger that. I'm getting to tell you last night, uh, I said we went to Ikea and got a couple more cameras. Hanging in their pictures, just one of their pictures this place was almost a canvas. It was a fanatic alphabet. I think it's like three foot by two foot. Underneath. Well, I hope you brought it home with you. Oh, yeah. We were going out and we had to stop at a desk to order one piece to check out what they were for. We can't save that one. You'll have to ask my friend that was the play. Well, we got up to the register and they sold it to me and it came home with me. Wow, that's great. Uh, I, I've seen something like that before uh, online. I can't think who the uh, uh, who the, uh, the who the seller was, uh, but maybe it might have been IKEA. I'm not sure, but I've seen something like that that has the listing of the phonetic alpha. That's really cool, you know, to hang up in the shack or whatever. And and uh, there are times I still forget a few of them, so I probably need something like that as a reminder as well. But hey, good for you. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you able. Uh, to get it worked out for you. I appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, it's a nice day tomorrow. I'm going to set it up out where I took the pictures of the uh, stuff I bought at the auction and get a picture of it and put it on QRZ. Hey, yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah, it'd be very cool to see that. And I'm sure you'll get a lot of, hey, where'd you get that? So get, be prepared to explain all that. Yeah, that's a, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, maybe you'll have one of a kind. Who knows? I, you know, it maybe not. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty pretty neat idea. 
uh, to do that. And, uh, of course, you know, the way it, depending on how it's displayed and stuff, very cool to have. And, and, uh, and you know, you can always, uh, always say, well, I've got one of these, and a lot of people probably don't have that. So, yeah, you get that chance. Uh, get a picture of it. Get it up on the page. It would be kind of cool to check that out. I will. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where to put it here in the shack so that I can see it, really. Well, I'll tell you, if it don't fit in yours, i got plenty of room in my shack. You're well, more than welcome uh, to send it over for me. <laughs> well, let me ask you this, David. Is there is there possibly any room in the sewing room? They had to learn more as part of the program again. Well, what I, I I'm sorry, I almost doubled with you in the beginning, but I, I guess the next question is is there is there possibly any room in the sewing room you could put it in? Oh, she would find a place in the sewing room. <laughs> uh, if I said it to my wife, she would come back with a couple of uh, uh, a couple of words that most people don't like to hear. So I'm just going to say, nope. Not exactly. Pretty understanding about something. Well, glad to hear that. I really am. So. Uh... <laughs> oh, very interesting. Well, I know you uh, now the weather is kind of holding you back a little bit, but uh, hopefully you can get a few things done tomorrow and uh, and let us know uh, the how the progress is going. But uh, uh, nice to hear you again tonight, uh, David. We were very lucky. We got some time again this evening as well, so we had a chance to to get out here. So uh, very excited about that. So. Um, you know, the band uh, seems to be okay. We'll kind of see where it takes us. But, uh, again, nice to hear you out there and uh, look for us again as usual there. So, uh, hey, we'll say 7-3 see if we can pick up a few others with a little bit of time we've got here this evening, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, nice, to ha nice to hear you again tonight, David. And I know uh, we'll probably talk tomorrow or the next night or whatever the case may be. So, anyway, 7-3s, uh, have a great Wednesday night. Uh, Kilo Echo 8, Romeo Bravo Yankee, Kilowatt Zero, Radio Whiskey Bravo. Yeah, 73, Randy. I'll try to catch you tomorrow night. Uh, Kilowatt Zero, Whiskey, Romeo Bravo. Kilo Echo 8, Romeo Bravo Yankee, I'm clear. All right, thanks, David. Have a good night. Uh, kilowatt Zero Radio, Whiskey Bravo. QRZ, any other stations, please? Whiskey 4, Juliet Lima Echo, W4JL80. Hey, there he is. Boy, I haven't heard South Carolina in a while. What is going on down there? I had the World Series going on. <laughs> had to watch all those games. Well, okay. Uh, I have a feeling you probably didn't root for Houston then. Uh, you got that right. I just thought last night was an absolute wonderful night. Not only did uh, the Braves win the World Series, but we got to watch all those election results. Uh, yeah, I'm a little disappointed, actually. Uh, I am. I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Um, I'm, well, I'm happy and I'm sad. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy for Soler. He's a great guy, and I'm very sad that the Royals let him go. <laughs> Yep. Uh, we wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for Soler. Uh, boy, I'll tell you what, that boy can hit. Yeah, it's uh, it's either uh, a pop fly or it's uh, 450 feet. Yeah, when he knocked the one out of the stadium there last night, uh, the guy who had thrown a pitch he didn't like just before, he looked at him, knocked it out of the stadium, looked at him again, and made a couple of remarks, I guess, in Spanish that the pitcher probably didn't understand, and then just stood there a minute, and then he ran around. So, uh, but I think he'll be with us for a while. Yeah, he's, he's fairly young. I think he's like 28 or 29. He's a fairly young player. And, uh, I mean, he was very well liked here. Uh, he was one of the fan favorites. And, of course, the, the big knock on him, of course, is, you know, it was, a, it was either a fly ball or a home run. And, and I think the Royals are, of course, in a kind of a re rebuilding mode. When he, I think he came over from the, from the Brewers. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Uh, but he was here for several years. And, and he was very well liked here in the area. And, and it, was, uh, it was a lot of – it was big news. Uh, in the sports sections around here, when he was uh, when he was traded, 
and um, I guess the I guess the powers that be thought it was a good move. You know, well, I, I guess it worked out great for Atlanta anyway. We'll kind of see what it does for us in the long term. But very, very happy for him. But you know, was really really sad that he left here. But uh, I think uh, I think the Braves did really good landing him, and and it really seems like they're using him in the best way possible. Yeah, Roger. Okay, well, just uh, for single purposes here, you're a, a solid five and nine in here tonight. And uh, good signal. I guess the band's in pretty good condition. I enjoyed it this weekend. I don't know if you did any operating uh, during the uh, uh, DX contest. We just was kind of casual about We would come in here for about an hour or so and work a few stations, go out and watch some TV, and then come back in. I worked 37 countries. And uh, was both South Africa and uh, Australia, so <laughs> I guess that's as far as you can go without going the, you know, the long path around the world. Well, that's good. Uh, no, we didn't uh, participate. Uh, we did uh, kind of stop in, turn the radio on just from time to time to see what the bands were like, and I mean, it was just wall to wall. Um, one of our uh, our questions the other night. Uh, here on the live stream was, you know, did you participate? How well it went? And, and I did have one operator uh, checked in. We started talking, and he said he'd worked 74 countries on 10 meters. And that, <laughs> I mean, that tells me the band was in really, really good shape. Uh, I mean, I know 15 was just going crazy. Uh, 20 meters, the waterfall was busy, you know, the, the entire length and so forth. So that's great. And I, I'm, I, it sounds like everybody had a great time with it. And I'm really happy to see that, uh, you know, the conditions held in there because it was pretty good all week. So anyway, since I've got you here on the air real quick, the question of the night is, you can give this a quick thought. We've done this a couple months ago, so we're doing it again because maybe people have time to think about other ones. But what is the longest long-distance contact that you've made so far? Well, <laughs> I guess uh, I have worked the space station, so uh, I don't know how far they were from me. But later uh, stations, uh, like I say, I've worked uh, to South Africa, and I've also worked, uh, you know, New Zealand, Australia. That's that's about as far as you can get from my QTH. Well, that's pretty good, really. It is, and uh, yeah. Hey, congrats on the space station. We've. Uh, we tried on on several occasions uh, to get in there. Of course, you know that you think the pileups are bad during the contest. You can just imagine when the space station was uh, <laughs> was up and running. So uh, we didn't uh, we didn't have uh, much success. But uh, hey, that I still think that's pretty cool, though. Uh, you know, um, uh, it used to be uh, here until lately. We we were able to pick up and uh, actually work uh, New Zealand and. Uh, uh, in the, those states, those countries, excuse me, uh, long path versus short path. So we would be pointing out your direction, and they used to come in better uh, than working a uh, short path. And, of course, that's kind of changed a little bit now. I think the bands have done so much better. But uh, very unusual when you've got, you know, maybe uh, a 6,000-mile track that turns into 12 or 13 because you're working long path. But, hey, whatever works, <laughs> that's just the way the conditions are, Roger. Yeah, Roger. <laughs> Uh, I never know. You know, I, I'm, I just run a dipole, so I don't know whether I'm uh, long path or short path. They never figured out a way to know. Uh, I guess somebody a lot smarter than me can tell me. But uh, uh, like I say, we, we worked as far as we can get from our QTH, and of course those distances, it wouldn't matter whether it was long path or short path, I guess, because we the same distance. <laughs> Uh, by the way, you know, the first uh, contact I made with the little G90, running barefoot, running 18 watts, was to a ZL, a BK, and a JA, all here on 40 meters. So we're running a little more power than that here tonight, so hopefully we get a uh, decent signal out your way. Well, I was just going to ask if you're running the Zygu or not, because you're, you're solid 5'9", sometimes a little bit over. And the audio was just right up there, of course. And it, yeah, that's that's pretty impressive. Um, uh, was it, let's see, not yet, Monday. Uh, Monday, we were just kind of uh, moving some equipment around and hooking up some different components down in uh, Studio B. So we flipped the switch on to make sure everything was working. And we we called, it was on 17 meters, 
and I took to two, I talked to two operators back to back on the Zygu. Um, one was outside of Philadelphia, and then one was up in upstate New York, uh, 18 watts. Uh, well, actually, the first one was on 12, was running 12 watts. The second one was, was uh, I think, 18 watts or so, and and running a dipole. So I'm like, wow. And of course, the audio. I understand the microphone has a lot of the menus for the radio tied into it, so maybe you don't have to, or you can't change it out. But gosh, you don't need to. They sound so good. So I'm I'm uh, beginning to wonder if maybe I'm missing something here. <laughs> well, you know, the very first contact I made with you was on this uh, Zygon. With, I was running 18 watts on the very first contact. Wow, that's just amazing. Well, it does tell you that uh, you don't need a lot to be successful on 40 meters. That's the great thing about it, and uh, and you do just kind of go off from there. So very, very cool. Well, again, you know, years, it wasn't too long ago you could talk around the world on 10 watts. And, uh, and I don't know if those days will ever come back again or not, but still, uh, I, I do like what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing in the last uh, week or 10 days on all the different bands. And, uh, you know, again, uh, even 12, uh, 12 meters has been uh, fairly active, at least for me here, 15 just about any time of the afternoon, 17 even last night up until uh, around 10.30, 10.45 my time. Uh, there was still activity on 17. So I think it's great. You know, here we are going into fall and winter. We're starting to get, you know, a little bit more in the house versus outdoors. And, boy, if we've got the uh, the bands to play with, this will just be a great uh, winter time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one quick suggestion for you, and I'm doing this in my software that I'm getting uh, ready to do here. Uh, let me suggest that you might put the uh, Zulu time on your display. Make it a whole lot easier uh, when somebody's looking and they want to go hear their own station. They know what time they talk to you, and they can just whiz on through and don't have to sit there for two hours like listen to somebody like me ranting. And uh, as far as that goes, uh, I'm going to say 17, Randy, because I know people stack up to talk to you and want to hear their own stations, and uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, I don't know what number of contact this is, but <laughs> I sometimes feel like I'm hogging things. So, seven threes to you. Always good to hear you, and uh, we will talk to you again, I'm sure. Uh, K zero, red, white, and blue. W four J L E. Well, I appreciate it, and uh, actually, this makes a baker's dozen. How about that? This is a baker's dozen between us, and I, it, that's okay. It really is. Um, you know, again, I, we don't like to do 5-9 QRZ, and uh, we generally don't talk 10 or 15 minutes, so I try not to anyway. Uh, so uh, it's always a pleasure, and it's been, uh, when was the last one? Uh, September the 8th is what I'm showing, so we were about due anyway. Um, so um, uh, keep in mind, we've got a special event going on uh, over Christmas, uh, the Christmas train. i got a quick little bit of info on my QRZ page. Take a look. Uh, myself and four other operators around the country are going to be uh, – be conducting or conductors, engineers, whatever you want to call it. We hope we can get you uh, in the logs there. And uh, if you're interested in getting one of our QSL cards, we'd be happy to send that out to you. So anyway, we're really looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. And uh, we're just kind of getting the word out and hoping uh, everybody uh, will have a chance to check in with us over the, it's the 23rd to the 26th. So it's not going to be just Christmas alone, we know and so forth. But anyway, we'll talk again, I hope anyway, before then, at least before Thanksgiving. Uh, but uh, nice to hear you again tonight, and I know it's been uh, just about a month or so, or, or real close to two months. So uh, always a pleasure. Nice to hear the Zygu is working. I'm getting kind of jealous here. <laughs> hey, have a good night. Nice to hear you again as well. Whiskey 4, Juliet India, Echo. This is Kilowatt Zero Radio Whiskey Bravo. 7-3s. 7-3s, 74-JLE. All right, take care. Uh, QRZ, any other stations, please? Kilo, Charlie 8, Quebec, Delta, Quebec. Oh, boy, he's back. Hey, Jeremy, what's going on? Oh, not a whole lot. I just got an alert on my phone there that says uh, says he was on the air 30 minutes ago. So I thought, you well, know, I'm going to have to go to 7.224 and uh, see if I can get a hold of uh, old red, white, and blue. Sounded good tonight, man. Got a good 5 and 9 on you. Back over to you. Well, that's good. I'm glad. To, uh, yeah, we actually started at 23, and... Uh, Something was going on uh, a little bit below us, and actually was talking with my friend David, uh, and I said, hey, we, we, let's just try to move up one to get away from it. And, uh, yeah, luckily there's no nobody, uh, no traffic up here, so uh, that's where we'll sit for a while anyway. But, uh, yeah, nice to hear you. About 10 over. 
uh, tonight. And um, so far, uh, most of the uh, contacts have been really good compared to last night. So I think everybody's having terrific signals. So maybe the band's a little bit more stable than it was last night. But, uh, hey, this is how it works, you know. Uh, real quick before uh, we before I forget, one of our the one of the questions tonight, of course, is um, what's the longest contact you've made uh, so far in your amateur radio career? We did this a few months ago, and uh, we'd love to figure or like to figure out uh, if you have a chance to tell us uh, what contact works for you there. Go ahead. Um, hardest contact. Well, I tell you what, I, w- I worked a guy over uh, in. Um, I'm pretty sure it was over in Russia. And uh, it w- I guess it would be the way that I made the contact. Uh, it was two meter moon bounce. So I don't know if this counts or not, but uh, my signal went, uh, you know, what is it, 186,000 miles to the moon and 186,000 miles back. And uh, and my friend over there in uh, in uh, Russia, uh, I'd have to look at his call. But it was fun. It was it was an interesting uh, time uh, to try the moon bounce thing. Uh, I did it with two 13 B2s, about a kilowatt on two, and uh, my uh, Kenwood TS2000, and I was running uh, JT65. Uh, but I don't know if that would count as the longest distance. Uh, back over to you. Oh no, I'd have to say it was. Uh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, yeah, that's pretty special. Uh, I did have. Uh, uh, another station said that uh, they uh, had a chance to talk with the International Space Station, and um, we, we <laughs> you think there was a pileup over the weekend, you know, with a flight trying to get it to the uh, space station. So we haven't we didn't make that one. But gosh, m- working moon bounce like that, yeah, I'd have to count. I'd have to say that counts. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm hoping you've got uh, some kind, either QSL card or some way to kind of uh, document that. But yeah, that's really interesting to hear. Yeah, he uh, he uploaded me on LOTW, and uh, I got that confirmed. Uh, he was doing all the work. He had a, a massive array. I bet it was uh, 30, uh, like 20 element two meter uh, antennas. It, it was pretty pretty awesome. Uh, I'm gonna use your platform here for a little bit. If anybody wants to uh, look up my, uh, I got a YouTube video, and if you look up uh, KC8 QDQ on uh, QRZ, and you know, there's a little click there on how to rebuild your ham uh, rotor. So I wanna I wanna throw that out there. Hopefully it uh, didn't offend you in any way. But uh, sounding good, my friend. Uh, back over to you. Yeah, no problem. So um, uh, tell me. Um Tell me where uh, on the page it is. Let me pull it up here real quick and get it on there. So I see your mining picture. Uh, click here to learn how to rebuild. Oh, okay, your high gain rotor. I've got it. Hey, change it out. And put it and highlight it in red. <laughs> no, it, we're, it's fine. No, that's that's great. I just wanted to see exactly what it is. So, uh, is that something new or a recent um, uh, video you put together? Uh, I did that video about a year ago. Uh, Due to the fact that I've seen a lot of videos on rebuild people trying to rebuild uh, their ham five rotors or ham four rotors, and, and uh, I love them rotors. I love to rebuild them and grease them, and and I use some special grease that uh, that I tell you about on that uh, YouTube video, <clears throat> and uh, I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a definitely a uh, definitely a good educational video, and everybody's worried about making sure they mark everything to clock it back to just perfect. You don't have to do that. There's a real easy trick uh, that you can do that you don't even have to worry about marking anything. Everything will go back exactly perfectly, um, 100% every time. So if anybody would like to learn them tricks, uh, just go to my QRZ page, and uh, or you can just type in high gain rotor and uh, it'll pop up there. Well, good. I'm, I'm glad uh, glad you're sharing that, uh, Jeremy. Yeah, thanks a lot. Again, that's again that's another uh, kind of a great thing about doing this uh, on the live stream. You know, people are, are more than willing to share information or, or th- stuff they've done. Uh, you know, it's one thing to say, well, go here's a step-by-step on paper, you know, how to rebuild or whatever the case may be, but uh, to do a video – because uh, a lot of us are visual type people, I'm that way as well. And uh, we did a couple of videos earlier in the in the spring on a couple of different topics. So yeah, very cool. I'm glad to uh, glad to know that you did that. And would have never thought of that. But I'm glad you mentioned it. And hopefully, uh, some people have a chance to check out the video there, Roger. Oh 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a few little things like uh, the bearings. Uh, uh, don't don't spend the amount of money that they want uh, to buy the bearings. There's nothing special about the bearings. They're just a steel ball bearing, and uh, there's no special uh, on them came a new uh, metal in them that's, that makes them so great. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Really appreciate you getting on. I enjoy uh, seeing your live feed and trying to get you. This is Kilo Charlie 8, Quebec, Delta, Quebec, with, uh, I guess I didn't put you in my log. I need to make sure I do that uh, before the night's up. Anyway, uh, 73's there, my friend. Uh, let's see, uh, K0RWB, back over to you and 73's. Yeah, no problem, Jeremy. Thank you uh, again. Yeah, I, again, I, I have a feeling that we're going to have a hard time not hearing each other. <laughs> Honestly, we seem to have a, a pipeline between us every time that uh, – that you give us a call. So, uh, again, uh, no issues here as well, uh, 9 and 10 over. So uh, um, that, <laughs> I wish the, hopefully the rest of them will be like that tonight. But, yeah, always a great signal coming out of there. And, uh, again, thanks for sharing the information. I hope uh, people get a chance to go to your page and, 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 and check out the video. So, yeah, nice to, uh, nice to hear you on a Wednesday night, hump day for some folks. Uh, getting closer to the weekends, of course, and it uh, looks like for us anyway, the next couple of days, uh, weather will get uh, just a little bit more warmer, and we're looking forward to that. So, uh, hey, again, you and yours, have a safe night, and uh, we'll hopefully be back out again yet this week. So uh, I'm sure we'll talk again. Kilo Charlie 8, Quebec Delta, Quebec, Kilowatt Zero, Radio Whiskey Bravo. Thanks again, 7 threes. Okay, take care, my friend. Uh, this is Kilowatt Zero, Radio Whiskey Bravo, QRZ. Any stations come with your call, please? Kilo KA Zero, Echo Mike Delta, Denver. Well, it sounds like Steve is back. Hey, what's going on up in Thornton, my friend? Oh, my gosh, I got a relative up here in my neighborhood. Okay, is that a good thing? I hope so. Uh, yeah, that's a good thing. Um, uh, it's nice to have other people with shacks in the neighborhood. Have you had a chance to talk to them uh, on the air or in person? Well, I, I haven't uh, spotted any decent antennas lately. Uh, there's one on the way up on Greenwood, but uh, I don't know if that's uh, a converted CB antenna or what. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. I, I know, uh, uh, you know, some of the um, the little uh, 11 meter verticals, the uh, Maritron and uh, oh, was the um, uh, Icon uh, Icom 2000 or something like that. Uh, worked 11, but also works uh, 17 and 20 and so forth. Yeah, I guess you can never tell. Yeah, I mean, it's a vertical, and uh, if it's built uh, properly for for that band, it'll work. Uh, this uh, 5B TV Hustler is really nice. It, uh, it covers 10 through 80. Oh, wow, that uh, gives you quite a bit of flexibility. And uh, it seems, uh, at least around my location, uh, Steve, that uh, uh, all those bands have been pretty active around my location. Uh, hopefully they are around yours as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's picking up. It's picking up. Uh, I think we'll have some good luck. Makes me think of the 90s when I was... Working 10 meters on the tech license, oh, that was grand. Yeah, I, I don't know if we'll ever get back to that, uh, you know, to that type of uh, activity. I, I'd like to think it, I'd like to think we're heading that direction now. Uh, it seems as, uh, again, we've had uh, several operators tonight said that uh, they've experienced the band condition being a lot better, and I, I think I think they are, so... Uh, you know we're still having uh, we're ha having some great luck here on 40 meters, so uh, you know I think the other bands are doing well. So I guess we'll just kind of see where it goes. There, go ahead. Hey Roger, uh, we'll uh, we'll play with the band. We'll go with it. And uh, oh, please uh, introduce me to yourself. I got KC8 
question mark. And I don't know your call. I think that might be your call. Um, it's the KA0EMD. My name is Steve. You know that, I guess. Uh, yeah, Steve, we've uh, we've got you here in the log. We've we've talked on several occasions. Yeah, Steve, my call here is uh, is Kilo Zero Radio Whiskey Bravo. Zero. I got it wrong, I think. Well, uh, kilowatt zero, red, white, and blue. How about that? Well, I have to trust my instincts, I guess. You were right, and I, was, I had it down correctly. So... You guys have been sounding fantastic. You're working under 20 over, and uh, the other gentleman was doing great, too. The KC-8, I think. Uh, it was it was nice copy. Yeah, that was, uh, that was Jeremy, and, uh, yeah, he's always got a great signal, and at least he does into my receive. So nice to, nice to know that... Um, you know the band is open. Of course, you're the first contact we've had uh, to the west of us there in the in the Denver area. So uh, uh, nice to see the band is open uh, your direction uh, this early in the, in the evening for us. And uh, who knows where it'll go from there, Steve? But uh, hey, always nice to hear you. And I uh, hope uh, things are going well for you there. Don't know if you've gotten any snow yet. I don't think so. I think the higher elevations have gotten a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys have or not, but. Uh, Anyway, always nice to hear you. Thank you again for giving us a call. We've got uh, got time to make a, a few more contacts this evening, but always nice to hear you in there. You've got a 20 uh, or a, a 10 over 9 signal here in the my receive as well, Steve. So you're doing doing just a great job. So hey, uh, have a great uh, Wednesday evening, and uh, we'll uh, we'll wait for you now the next time around. You never can tell the next day or so or next week or what have you. So uh, thank you for giving us a call this evening. Always nice to hear you there in uh, in the Denver area. And uh, we'll look forward to the next one. We'll say 7-3 for you now. Uh, Kilo Alpha Zero, Echo Mike Delta. This is Kilowatt Zero, Radio Whiskey Bravo. Thank you, Steve. Have a great night. Thank you, my friend. You're doing great. And uh, um, I'll take a standby and be on the side. And I won't stretch it out here. K zero, red, white, and blue. This is K A zero E M D. Thank you both for your cues. Hey, my pleasure, Steve. You have a great night. Take care. Seventy uh, threes. Uh, QRZ. Any other stations, please? K zero R W B. Kilo Tango for Romeo Alpha Mike. Okay, Kilo Tango 4, Romeo Alpha Mike. Hey, Greg, good evening. How are you doing, sir? Oh, well, good evening, Randy. Uh, yeah, I was trying to get in there. Uh, uh, your signal was way up there a while ago, uh, but I, I know there were a couple uh, of guys, Jeremy and uh, Steve and somebody else was talking to you. So I was like, please, please have the band hold open up long enough for me to say hi to Randy, Roger. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Well, I, I don't have any problem hearing you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I'm kind of that way sometimes too. Uh, you know, you just kind of sit back and wait your turn, and it's like, we well, you know, I haven't talked to you for so long, and and then by the time it comes around, yeah, the band drops. So I'm glad it hasn't. So nice to hear you. I had that happen earlier, but the station's only six miles away from me, but we were on 17 meters, and we were still able to talk with him. So worked out well. But anyway, nice to hear you tonight. Uh, what's going down in your neck of the woods? Oh, not much. Uh, just uh, cleaned up the uh, the desk and rearranged everything, and hoping I put it back together properly. So you're my first contact since then. As a matter of fact, this is our fourth contact. So it's confetti time. <laughs> just kidding. It is our fourth contact. But I wanted to answer your question while you can still hear me. I think your question for tonight was the longest contact, and uh, my longest contact was either Saipan or Japan uh, just recently. Roger. Oh, terrific. 
Uh, was it on phone or digital mode? It was on phone. Uh, that was digital. Uh, most everything I do is on phone. Well, uh, the, yeah, Saipan would be quite interesting. Uh, I don't think I've ever, uh, well, I've never talked to anyone in Saipan. I'd be curious how many uh, uh, stations or operators they have. Hey, that's terrific. Good for you. And that was just recent? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was like two, maybe three months ago, um, and then I talked to him again. It was the same operator, and I didn't realize it, but I'm a night owl. I can't sleep, so when I hit them up and I heard them, it was kind of a fluke because it was probably about 3 or 4 o'clock my time, and I'm here in Florida, Roger. Well, that's great. So you've got to tell us now. What's your secret? How do you do that? Tell us your secret. Don't sleep, Roger. <laughs> okay, don't sleep. Uh, well, I have been known on occasions to be on the air around 1 or 1.30 in the morning, uh, and that's a really a good time that uh, uh, Australia and New Zealand start to come in here. I, I can't do it uh, every day, all day, of course, but every once in a great while we've had that opportunity, so I certainly can understand that. Yeah, Roger. But I was I was quite surprised because the guys were talking back and forth, and uh, I just decided that I would stand by a little bit, waited for a break, and then uh, uh, called uh, called in there. And uh, come to find out, both of them that I was talking to were in Saipan, uh, so I thought that was pretty neat. And then the, the Japanese station that I got was about five o'clock in the morning, and that was uh, that was probably a few weeks before that. But uh, that was my longest contact ever, and uh, my most recent contact was uh, uh, Cutter. Uh, I talked to a gentleman in Cutter the other day. Oh, that's another good one. Wow. Um, I've been there. <laughs> I've been on the on the ground there in, uh, in Cutter, but uh, never uh, been on the air. We've gotten into, uh, oh, gosh, I think we did um, either Iraq and Iran, and we've gotten into Israel, and it's been many, many years. Uh, but uh, nothing, nothing that great uh, lately, la at least in the last year or so. So again, that's why we wanted to put it out there because the last time around, people just—it was just amazing some of the contacts people had. I mean, we just had uh, Jeremy, so I had a moon bounce. Well, that, you know, that's probably going to top just about anybody else out there. You know, a hundred and some odd thousand miles. <laughs> so, so uh, I guess I should have said within the. Uh, Within the Earth, uh, no, it doesn't matter. It's just still still a pretty unique area. So, congrats on those contacts, and hopefully you got confirmation on those as well, Roger. Yeah, Roger, I got a couple of them gave me confirmation, um, but uh, a few uh, I think it's QRZ, um, but uh, not everybody does confirm. Uh, I actually had one station that had on its QRZ page that the you know the most uh, important part of a contact is confirmation so please leave your confirmation when you talk to me and i did that and i talked to the guy twice and you know what he never confirmed my q so <laughs> oh so it's a one sided thing well uh, you know if you're if you're hunting for certain awards i mean you know a lot of everybody likes to start the uh, you know the work to all states in the beginning which i think it's a great award don't get me wrong cuz it's difficult it really is difficult, especially your home state. At least it was for me. And uh, and they don't confirm that's kind of tough. Of course, all mine, everything I do is on LOTW. Uh, you know, I, I just, there's just too many of them out there for me to keep track of and what have you. And, uh, you know, you say which, what, what you will. But uh, at least at least every Monday, I uh, download the log and, uh, and put it on LOTW. Maybe that's a question we'll use here in the next couple of days or so. That might be the nightly question is what... what uh, what logs people use and how successful they are. But, hey, that's a great one. Thanks for telling me that, Greg. We might be able to use that one. Oh, Roger. Well, that's awesome. Um, yeah, well, we're here to help each other out, give each other ideas. I actually keep a paper log because I'm old-fashioned, uh, which is really weird because after I got out of the fire service, I was a computer tech. Uh, so my laptop's sitting over here. I haven't opened it in two months. <laughs> but uh, I do that or I'll log it on, uh, on QRZ. Uh, but uh, I always keep a paper log. But uh, that's how I knew this was my fourth contact with you. I was going to do it yesterday, and you were in there a good solid 10 over for a while. Uh, but you had a few contacts. I think it was last night. And uh, then uh, the band faded out. So I said, well, I'll catch him again. So I caught you tonight. 
and uh, I, uh, I see that uh, it's really nice when I, uh, even though I have to kind of stand by a little bit, it's nice because I know that people are watching your YouTube channel if they're talking to you, and that's awesome, Randy. Well, yeah, yeah again, it's a, it's kind of a neat deal. I mean, I never, I never went into this, you know, trying to be the, the, you know, the latest and greatest and whatever. I mean, everybody who does uh, something like this is, is, has a different niche with it. You know, Alex works his way, and, and then Doug, uh, KB2 UKA up in Long on Long Island, he's doing his a little bit different. There's a lot of people doing it, and. Uh, you know, I think it's great. Again, if it gives them additional exposure to the hobby, great. We had a conversation about that last night. It was taking this, uh, you know, taking the YouTube type thing and the amateur radio, take those two mediums and putting them together, and it might bring other audiences into the hobby, which is what been my experience now with the younger generation. Um, we did the Boy Scout Jamboree a couple, three weeks ago, and, and uh, we made contact with several different scout troops, and we had the live stream up. And I've gotten some emails back that kids have just, you know, gone crazy because they got to hear themselves on YouTube. You know, all the bodies got that, you know, that uh, thing in front of their face. So, uh, yeah, again, you know, I I, uh, I I certainly enjoy doing this. I think people realize that by now. And I, I, and I appreciate the people who take the time to stop and say hi. Those that are there on the live chat. Todd is there just about night in and night out. Jeremy comes in all the time as well. And Glenn is there. I could just go on and on and on. And. And uh, it's really great to see that. It's a great community. And, again, if we can share some information on night basis, <clears throat> uh, Jeremy did that earlier about how to rebuild a, a, a rotor. Hey, great. And let somebody else uh, be able to use that information. That's just a great thing about what we're doing. Hey, Roger. And, uh, yeah, I did hear, uh, uh, I think it was Jeremy, uh, uh, I think it was uh, – KC8QDQ, and I uh, wrote down his call. Uh, I thought that was uh, very important, uh, uh, very good information, because there's a lot of people that uh, would rather rebuild their rotor than have to go spend tons of money to keep replacing them. So that's awesome of him. But, uh, yeah, by the way, I wanted to tell you that on your peak uh, a while ago, uh, you actually hit about 15 over on me, which was great. And also wanted to tell you, because I told you the last time I talked to you that we were going to get uh, a uh, big uh, solar flare hit us and stuff just at the uh, last day of the uh, um, DX contest. And that did hit, knocked pretty much a lot of things out. But we got another one coming, and I think it's supposed to be here tomorrow, if I remember right. So uh, the, the sun is waking up, Andy. Well, you know, I don't, I don't show, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't show very good numbers right now. Uh, I show the KP index at four, and then uh, I got sunspot at 42, and I think it was at 87 over the weekend. So yeah, it, so we've got something coming, uh, but uh, you know, I, I, and it does affect all the bands and there, and a lot of other, you know, uh, wireless technology. But um, you know, 40 seems to be fairly resilient uh, with some of those flares and. And what have you. It can still be noisy across, but I get used to that day in and day out anyway. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and, and hope it doesn't affect us too much. But uh, yeah, you know, you got to take the uh, you got to take the bad with the good there, Roger. Hey, Roger, Randy. Well, uh, yeah. So we it got so bad uh, we couldn't even talk on uh, on we talk every night on 75 at uh, 3945. And uh, we we couldn't eat, we could hardly hear each other, so we just gave up. And uh, like I said, we're there every night on 39:45. If you uh, if you ever uh, feel uh, like it, jump in there, see if uh, see if we can hear you. Uh, eventually, the sun's going to wake up so much it'll be like uh, talking to you. It'll be like next door, even on 75, I would imagine. But, uh, uh, I appreciate it. I know you've probably got more people, uh, more listeners, and more watchers uh, wanting to contact you. But this is contact number four, and uh, I've got it written down, and I appreciate it, Randy. And sounding good here in Florida, Roger. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, we, we've uh, we've got it in the notes up here that you are you are now in uh, in regular status. So uh, congratulations for that. Um, and we'll be doing the confetti and party uh, afterwards tonight, but. Uh, we'll certainly we'll let you know how it goes, <laughs> but uh, yeah, nice to have the fourth contact. Very 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 cool, and uh, I do appreciate the uh, uh, the idea for uh, for our uh, our live stream question. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, again, uh, we just got an 80 meter dipole put up over the weekend, so we're back 
uh, uh, to be able to operate on 80. Uh, so we'll uh, probably be around there at some point or another. And we do enjoy uh, some of the guys on AM 3892, I believe, somewhere around there like that. I uh, haven't been up to 3945. I got it written down, and we'll certainly give it a gander, so no problem. Greg, always a pleasure. Congrats on number four. Very nice to hear you in Florida. Longest distance contact so far tonight. I guess I should say on a nightly basis. 880 miles straight line. So, band is holding up. You've, you've dropped down once. It came right back again, so I haven't had any trouble. So, uh, hey, have a great night. Thank you again for taking the time. Uh, to give us a call, and I do appreciate the kind words. Very nice, and uh, we'd like to throw them right back to you as well. Uh, we do. Uh, we're very fortunate. We've got some great operators that operate here on 40 meters, and we have uh, the opportunity to have a chance to talk with them. So always a great night. So, hey, you and yours be safe, be well. It's a Wednesday evening, halfway home, and uh, I know we'll do it again. Kilo Tango Four, Romeo Alpha, Mike, Kilowatt Zero, Radio Whiskey Bravo, Seven Threes. All right, Randy. Well, thank you again. Uh, always a pleasure. And uh, I hope that uh, you and your family stay blessed and stay safe. And we'll talk to you again real soon. So Kilo Zero, red, white, and blue. Kilo Tango 4, Radio Alpha Mike, 73, right? All right, Greg, seven threes. Thank you again. Uh, Kilowatt Zero, Radio Whiskey Bravo, Randy in Kansas City. QRZ, any stations come with the call, please. And two. Now they're going to be uniform three, uniform Remember Yankee 5 Echo. Boy, I haven't heard you in a while. What's going on up there? Well, Randy, you know, I uh, I jumped on your chat. Uh, maybe it was last night, and uh, then it seems life happens, as it does so often when you're trying to be on the radio. And uh, when I listened to the rebroadcast later on this e uh, last evening, I saw that you called for me, and I, I apologize for not being there when you shouted out, buddy. I'm, I apologize for that. Oh, not a problem at all. I, I just... Um, Again, uh, when people try to do that, I mean, in the beginning, I told folks, hey, that's a, that's a great way to get in. Uh, you know, again, we try to pull calls the best we can. You know, w if we can hear them as best we can, we try to pull them out. Uh, that's another way to make it work. So we wanted to take a minute or two and just make the call, but that's okay. Maybe the conditions had dropped, whatever. But, hey, great signal on you tonight, and we've gone back-to-back -back in Florida. So this is great. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> well, uh, you know, when you live in the country, you've got many things that uh, have to fall in line to make this work, and and internet's one of them, and what have you, and and we've we've tried to try to change things up a little bit, so, somewhat. We want to keep the for same format, but um, you know, a lot of times we'll do a, we've been trying to do an introduction uh, before we start on the air on the radio air, but we'll get stuff that's on the uh, on the channel. We have a few people that are already. I mean, just come right on the live chat or actually come on the stream, and then uh, we try to get out there and and you know, kind of bounce around, make sure you know we're not bothering any other stations or what have you. And uh, we did miss out on Monday night, uh, but we were out uh, last night, and we're fortunate to have time again tonight. And the band seemed a little bit better shape than last night, but uh, we made uh, quite a few contacts last night, new ones and some repeats, and uh, we've made uh, quite a few tonight. Everybody's had great signals. And we've even had a couple of people that are now into the regular class uh, in our log. So uh, we've the fourth contact. So it's been a great night all, all around there, Roger. Yeah, I understand that. You have uh, quite a following. And it's, uh, it's kind of a nice story how, how you kind of came about into this and kind of fell into it where you, well, I can't afford that. And then you bought a $25 sound card or some nonsense like that. And all of a sudden, uh, there you were. But uh, I have to say you're a natural conversationalist. You're very easy to listen to. Uh, it's easy to relax and listen to you in the background, or sometimes I'll throw it out while I'm driving into town, but uh, I, I, enjoy your, I enjoy your pieces even when I can't participate. Over. Well, that's nice of you to say. <laughs> I, I, uh, I tell the wife on, on numerous occasions uh, after, after we finish the evening, uh, we'll go downstairs and she'll ask how, how it went. And I said, you know, it's just amazing. I said, I don't know why these people are waiting to talk to me. Uh, you know, honestly, I, I'm nobody from nowhere. Uh, I enjoy amateur radio, as I think a lot of us do. And, uh, you know, we're, we're the idea is to make contacts and, and, you know, to go through that process. 
And again, I didn't do this for me. I did it for you guys. I mean, what do you want to talk about? What's important? Again, we've had, I go, go back again, Jeremy has has shared some information of how to rebuild a rotor. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that, that I'd like to have put on here so people can, can we can share this information, we can use it, whether, hey, I had a success building this antenna, and this is how I did it, that kind of stuff. And tonight is what's the longest contact you've made. And it's, those are great stories. I think people like to share those stories. And, and I think every people like to hear those stories, or maybe it gives them an idea of maybe trying to, 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 to get to that contact. I mean, Saipan, I would have never thought about any operators in Saipan. Well, I'm going to kind of give that a listen now. Maybe I can make that, that contact. So, yeah, it's just been a great time overall. Well, I think what sets you apart a little bit is it's a natural, genuine uh, connection that you make, and, and that's rare uh, these days. Customer service, I guess you would say, is kind of uh, almost a thing of the past. And uh, I guess what makes you easy to listen to is, as you can tell in your voice and the connection you make with people, that it's genuine and honest. And people like that. I like that. I, I mean, who wouldn't? And now I feel like this is my second, uh, my second connection here, my second QSO with you. So I'm halfway to Confetti, and uh, I actually have a horse on my farm here named Confetti. And when I do make that fourth contact, I'm going to put him on my QSO. Z page, and uh, I'll put your name at the bottom of your call sign down there, so we'll all know what that's about. Back to you. Oh, oh that's great. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've got, uh, I, I'm sorry, the people that are uh, hitting me on the chat as well. I, again, I have been on the other side, so to speak, and um, again, I have nothing against uh, people at 5.9 QRZ. It's a contest, or whether they get, that's how it works. I get that. And um, I said in the beginning, if I was going to do this, that's not how I wanted to run my channel. Is uh, I can't do 15 or 20 minute QSOs. Every once in a while, it kind of gets there, and I do appreciate people's patience. We try not to do that, but we also try to be very respectful of everybody's time. If you're going to take the time to to give me your call, then you've got something to say. I don't think you're going to go 59 QRZ. Maybe you are. So again, that that's kind of what this is. And I think the more that we're able to share information and stories, I think the more we all tend to enjoy the hobby. And that's really the bottom line here, is we all enjoy this hobby for one reason or another. The nice thing is there is something here for everybody. I've said it many, many times. There's something for everybody. And if we can get new operators into the hobby or people that are just into the hobby here recently, and they come across this, are they able to listen to you and I and others here on the channel, maybe they'll get a better sense of what's available or what's out there in the hobby. And that's all I ever try to get across to it. And if that comes across as genuine and, you know, and I'd like to be more of a listener than a talker, uh, good luck, um, then that's great. That's kind of how we want this thing to work. Well, you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? And it is working. And uh, I know there are more people behind me waiting to get in the spot, and I won't keep you. Uh, it was wonderful speaking with you. I'm glad we got to connect again tonight. Uh, so for Kilowatt Zero, Red, White, and Blue Randy, uh, this is November Yankee 5 Echo from Ocala, Florida. I'll give you the last word, and good evening to you, sir. Oh, gosh, you don't ever give me the last word. We'll be here forever. Uh, Adam, always a pleasure. I, you know, it doesn't seem as though uh, it's been two contacts. It actually seems longer than that. I don't know how you feel about it. That's how I do. Uh, again, uh, it, conversation should be just that. I don't like to say QSOs or I, nice to work you. That's just, uh, that doesn't work for me. These are conversations. We have something to talk about, and there we go, and that's how it works. Uh, but, yeah, again, as, as I said before, uh, you're all, welcome back anytime. Of course, you hear us out there. That's why we tried to pull you out last night on the chat. We've got one now. Uh, I've got a, I got a message. We're going to try to pull this other uh, station here real quick. And uh, again, we're just we're sharing information. We're telling some great stories. You guys have great stories. I don't have any compared to what you guys got. But again, if you hear us, give us a call. Always a nice attempt to work you. And nice to hear you out on Ocala. 950 miles, the longest contact so far tonight. Enjoy your Wednesday night, and I know we'll talk again. We're looking forward to throwing confetti, not the horse, the paper. <laughs> I look forward to it. Adam, take care. Uh, November Yankee 5 Echo, Kilowatt Zero, Radio Whiskey Bravo, 7-3s. 73, Randy. Good night. All right, you take care. Okay, let's see if we get this uh, get this call here real quick. You got a quick note. A November Uniform 3 Uniform, I believe. Uh, sounds like Joe or Joseph. Let's see if he's uh, see if he's out there on the air. We got a quick note. 
that he might be there. Uh, November Uniform 3 Uniform. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, this is November Uniform 3 Uniform. Uh, I'm glad you called me, Randy. This is the first time uh, talking to you. I was just listening to your previous conversation, and you guys were talking about uh, further calls. I just had Argentina confirm me, and that was uh, kind of surprising. Hopefully you can hear me good this evening. Uh, name here is Joe. I'm out in Utah, the northern part of Utah, about 40 miles south of the Idaho state line. Over. Well, Joe, I've got no problems hearing you at all. Uh, you're five and seven in the receive here. Again, yeah, the name here is Randy, and uh, we're uh, 35 miles east of downtown Kansas City, Missouri. We like to say the right side, the Missouri side. And uh, we've, uh, we've got the logger pulled up here as well. We see exactly uh, uh, where your, your grid square is in Birmingham City. But uh, no problem. Hey, congrats on the Argentina contact. Very good. And I assume that was probably on phone as well, Roger. Roger that. It was on phone. I did get some fairly obscure uh, places as well back uh, last weekend during that Worldwide DX contest. Uh, it's sort of been personal like you were talking about, but I had the opportunity to log uh, China of all places, and I'm just going through my log here. I got uh, Guatemala and, you know, a few other crazy fights, but didn't have any meaningful QSOs. It was pretty uh, pretty fast-paced the whole weekend over. Yeah, I can imagine it would be. Uh, hey, congrats on China. Uh, really, really cool. I, I, that's one place I've never gotten into. Uh, but there's a lot of places that I haven't had a chance to, to make a connection yet. But, yeah, that's wonderful. Hey, good for you. And I assume that's all fairly recent as well? Roger that. Some of those were, were as recent as this past weekend. Believe it or not, Randy, I have a super tough time getting to New England, you know, from here at my QTH in Utah. I am right on the side of a mountain, and I can actually uh, talk to stations in Oceania, you know, New Zealand, Australia. But getting to Connecticut, uh, Maine, Massachusetts, it's just uh, it's super hard uh, because I'm right up next to a mountain here, and uh, it's, just, uh, it's just difficult for me to get up in New England. Isn't that strange, Over? Well, you know what that tells me? That just tells me you need another antenna up in the air. Copy that. I wish I could put two or three more antennas up, but every time I put one up, I get stink eye from my wife, so I probably ought to stick with the two that I have right now, which is a uh, vertical that I don't use a whole lot, and I'm actually uh, talking to you right now on a in-fed wire uh, probably irradiating the sparrows with about 1,200 watts from an old uh, Drake L4B over. <laughs> I think that I think that's great. Well, again, a nice thing about uh, uh, 40 meters, you know, it's pretty, uh, it can be pretty flexible. You can use all kinds of stuff and be really successful <clears throat> here on 40 meters. And, uh, <laughs> well, you know, uh, maybe you can, uh, you know, kind of disguise another antenna as, uh, you know, something for, uh, uh, for the wind conditions or for weather conditions or so forth. Uh, we have uh, we have two wires. We've got this 40-meter dipole that we're on right now. We've got an 80-meter dipole on the other side of the tower. And then we run a hex beam that's 10 uh, through 20 meters, and that just about covers everything we want, and it seems to work for us. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, the, the New England states, uh, interesting. Maybe, again, time frame, or you're talking maybe some of the upper bands. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I would say... Uh, uh, Chris is coming. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Maybe a hex beam there. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger that. I'm hearing a lot of good stuff about hex beams. That's for sure. There's a friend of mine that's not too far from here that uh, I think he primarily uses his hex beam now, and he's having uh, pretty good results with that. And so that might be something for me to look into. Oh, um, before I forget, I wanted to give a shout out to K7 KJN. He's the one who kind of directed me to you, and I sure appreciate you taking the time to give me a call, and I appreciate him actually uh, telling me about you, Randy. It's uh, great to be here, and I appreciate being able to have the conversation with you. Over. You mean you talked to that rascal down in Bullhead City? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I thought I was the only one he ever talked to. 
Roger that. He's a new friend of mine, a uh, pretty good guy, definitely. I would recommend more people try and give him a call as well, that's for sure. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time this evening, but uh, I certainly appreciate you calling me, and I'm glad that uh, we can actually have a QSO. Uh, the noise here at my location is uh, sometimes pretty awful over. Yeah, well, uh, again, uh, Mike uh, used the back door. Uh, which is a is a live chat. Of course, he probably told you we do a live stream here on YouTube. Of course, we're we're doing that tonight. Of course, and we'd we'd love to have you uh, uh, as a subscriber on the channel. Not required. You can always come back anytime. But if you're ever wanting to know when we're going live again, uh, you can hit the little notification bell, and then whenever we're up and about, you'll get that notification through YouTube that says, "Hey, such and such is up and running." Totally up to you. We we enjoy new contacts. We were we certainly enjoy. Uh, re repeat uh, contacts as well. Uh, you know, again, uh, since you're new here to the channel, uh, in my log, if we have four contacts, you become a regular. And uh, we throw confetti and have a big party in your name. Of course, you're not around, of course, but we still do that. And we just have a great time. We put, put some notes up in our comment section that they're now a regular. We've got quite a few of those. And we appreciate every one of them. Uh, again, we're out here to make contacts, have some fun, uh, maybe share some information, tell some great stories and so forth. You, you provided that as with us as well, some of your long-distance contacts. And that's just what we try to do here and have a good time doing it there, Roger. Roger that. Well, it would be a pleasure to subscribe to your channel, and I will certainly follow you, and I'll be sure to tune in uh, again. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you have to say, and, you know, it, this uh, this kind of conversation is a lot more meaningful to me than, uh, you know, just 5-9 Cures that like you were talking about earlier. I love to do DX, but I also love to rag Q. Um, it's just uh, probably in my nature, so having these kind of uh, talks is uh, just just what I enjoy. If you want to read a little bit about me, you can kind of check me out on QRZ. I uh, am a DOD civilian, been doing that for about 27 years, uh, looking forward to uh, retirement eventually. Um, hopefully that will be coming, and then we can kind of travel about the country and uh, maybe work portable wherever we end up stopping. <laughs> Over. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Well, uh, you probably didn't know it, but uh, yeah, we hate, we've got your, uh, your QRZ pulled up, and we actually put it across this live stream. So uh, I was just going to ask you, uh, uh, which one were you, the one in uniform or the one in the hard hat? But I have a feeling you answered that for me. So, <laughs> hey, no problem. Hey, I will say this. Uh, retirement is everything people say it is uh, and more. We've been retired since 2017. And uh, and haven't looked uh, haven't looked back. So, uh, whenever you get that opportunity, I'd say, hey, go for it. And we do the same thing. We we uh, we, we try to take equipment with us when we're out and about. Uh, when we're camping, we've done some portable uh, several times this year and had a great time with that. Hoping to do more, but uh, we're certainly enjoying this, of course, and I think others as well. So as long as everybody's having fun with this, we're going to continue doing it. And uh, we would uh, certainly like to have you back again anytime. Of course, you hear us out there. Uh, by all means, give us a, a call. We'll, we try to work everybody that we can hear and pull a call out. So uh, hopefully that works out well. Uh, hey, Joe, thank you so much. Nice to work you for the first time, and uh, nice to hear you out of, uh, out of Birmingham City there in Utah, and uh, we hope you uh, have a chance to come back again anytime, my friend. So we'll say 7-3 is a great call, by the way, too. Uh, I, I don't think I can say it three times fast, but we'll try to get it the first time anyway. November Uniform 3 uh, Uniform. A kilowatt zero radio whiskey bravo. Thank you again. You have a great night. Randy, you have a great night as well. Yeah, this uh, call when I first got it took me a while to uh, memorize, and I was tripping up over it quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, you got it right. November Uniform 3 Uniform, it was a pleasure speaking to you this evening, sir, and I look forward to talking to you again. Uh, maybe you'll answer my call if I uh, tune back in and try and call you. So 7-3 to you, sir, and I look forward to uh, checking you out on YouTube. Yeah, okay, if you're... Uh if you want to listen to our QSO, I, I don't timestamp it, so only I can tell you I'm looking at the timer right now. Um, go go to one with today's date on the course, and um, it'll say live currently. But if you kind of fast forward to about 1 hour 15, 1 hour 14, probably pretty close to where we started right through there, Joe. 
uh, that'd probably be a good place to give it a start. Give a look and a listen. Again, our radio display is on the channel, so you'll see the signal strength. You'll, we have our, our oscilloscope up, so you can see your audio wave pattern. Uh, the downside is a webcam pointed at me. You get to see my smiley face. Otherwise, <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, nice to hear you. Again, come back anytime. You take care of Seven Trees. Seven Trees, thank you, Randy. Okay, QRZ, any other stations out there? Come with your call, please. November 7, Mike Whiskey Hotel. Mark, good evening. Well, let's see if we can uh, see if we can pull you out there. Uh, I see you're up in Washington State. We'll see how that works. Uh, the name here is Randy, and our QTH. We're uh, 35 miles east of downtown Kansas City, Missouri. There, go ahead. Yeah, we're on the Missouri side. We're just on the east side of Kansas City there. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, Mark, the call sign here is uh, Kilo Zero Romeo Whiskey Bravo. Yeah, well, that's great, Mark. Well, so far, you're the longest one tonight. Uh, 1,528 miles as a straight line is what the logger shows. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, you're anywhere from about 5 and 5 to 5 and 7. Came up real nice that last go around there. Go ahead. Hey, I'll, I'll take it. You know, this is the way the band is. And, uh, uh, you know, for me and my location, the West Coast uh, usually comes in a little bit later than this. So I'm glad to hear that uh, at least we're making the, the trip this early in the evening for us there, Roger. You know, um, uh, what a terrific radio. Uh, I hear I hear it's really quite popular. Um, <laughs> I will say I've never heard a bad one. So, yeah, your uh, your audio is really good, coming up really nice and, and bright. So uh, maybe, uh, you know, I'll put another quarter in the machine or something. You'll come up a little better. But I don't have a problem copying right now there. Go ahead. You know, uh, uh, 40 meters, just about everything will work. But, uh, I mean, uh, you know, the antenna has got to do the majority of the work, of course. But uh, it doesn't hurt to have a little uh, little power behind it as well. And uh, I have no doubt uh, you get it up and running, you'll have a, probably a little bit better signal there. Go ahead. Yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, very popular antenna off center fed, and they work really quite well. So good for you. Uh, I think it's uh, doing good here in my receive anyway. Uh, we run a 40 meter dipole about uh, 38 foot off the side of the tower, and uh, actually we got one leg pointed towards you, believe it or not, and the other leg is uh, pointed toward uh, San Diego. So uh, not the conventional configuration, but it does seem to work for us, and uh, we're just not going to mess with it as long as it's working there. Go ahead. I don't blame you. That's that's certainly good. Hey, one of the one of the things we're asking tonight, uh, Mark, if you've got a second, is uh, if you would uh, tell us uh, 
What is the longest contact that you've been able to make there? Go ahead. Oh, terrific. Well, it, it, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, any mode or band and so forth. It's just kind of the uh, the question that we're asking uh, folks tonight. And uh, we've gotten all kinds of answers anywhere from uh, Argentina to uh, doing a moon bounce uh, into uh, Russia. So, I mean, we've had a little bit of everything. So interesting to hear some of the stories. But uh, sounds like you've done pretty well there as, uh, as well there, Roger. Yeah, well, that's still not too bad, honestly, if you think about it. So, uh, you know, I, I, it just gets better as time goes on, of course, or, uh, you know, the timing of the band just happened to hit just right. That's a great thing. And, uh, you know, um, uh, we've made a few contacts, but nothing like some of the people tonight, like Saipan and, and like I said, the moon bounce and uh, Russia and so forth. We haven't had anything quite that unique. But uh, uh, one thing we also did want to tell you, Mark, is that we're here on 40 meters in the evenings around – seven o'clock central and we do a live stream on youtube that's what we're doing right now so we're actually live here on youtube but it's also recording so if you're interested in listening to our QSO to actually uh see how you sound on the air uh, you can go to our uh, our youtube channel which is my call sign uh, you can go to right to youtube in the search bar put the call in or you go to my qrz page we have a link that'll take you right to the channel and if you're interested in listening uh, to yourself on the air, uh, you could kind of fast forward to about 1 hour 25, 1 hour 24, and uh, give yourself a listen there, Roger. Uh, no problem at all, Mark. Yeah, you're, you're starting to come up a lot better there, and your audio is just terrific. Uh, so it's really nice. I can't say I've ever worked anybody in Concrete, Washington. That's a very unique name. Uh, congrats on that. So, uh, <laughs> uh, well, I will tell you also, uh, if we have uh, if we have four contacts in my log, you become a regular. And uh, so uh, we throw confetti and have a party in your name. So we've got three more to go. So by all means, if you hear us out here, uh, give us a call back. We'd love to have a chance to work again. Again, we don't get into Washington State very often, and it's nice to hear you this evening. So uh, we've got a little bit more uh, time yet this evening to make a few more contacts, but uh, thank you for giving us a call tonight, and uh, hopefully we'll have a chance uh, to talk again real soon. So uh, we'll say 7-3 for now, and uh, have a great what's left of the Wednesday evening, and uh, we'll look for you again. Uh, November 7, uh, Mike Hotel Whiskey. Excuse me, backwards. November 7, Mike Whiskey Hotel. My apologies. Kilowatt Zero Radio Whiskey Bravo. Thank you, Mark. Seven threes. Okay, my friend, you take care. Uh, K0RWB, QRZ, anybody else, please come with your call. Uh, was there a Kilo 7? Somebody's run at my noise level. Try it again. Okay, November 7, Delta X-ray, Charlie. My, my mistake, Keith. Hey, good evening. How are you doing? Okay. Uh, the name here is uh, Randy, and uh, the QTH, we're 35 miles east of downtown Kansas City, Missouri there. Go ahead. Okay. Great. Well, hey, thank you for that. Uh, first contact into uh, uh, California this evening. Just finished with Washington State, so it does appear as the 
at least for me, the West Coast is starting to uh, pick up. Uh, probably about the same time, I guess, uh, that as usual. Around 8.30 Central Time is when uh, the band seems to move your way a little bit. I'm sure we'll have uh, uh, some more Midwest and East Coast as well. I uh, do thank you for that. You're about a uh, good 5.7, five, 5.9 five here in the receive. So uh, uh, nice to hear you uh, this evening. Uh, I don't... Uh, I don't think there's been a contact with us. A log doesn't show that. So thanks a lot for the first one tonight there. Go ahead. Well, thank you for the report. Appreciate it. You uh, have a nice sounding signal. And uh, what was your city again? Yeah, we're, uh, well, if I told you, you'd shake your head and say, what did he say? So the easiest way to tell you is we're 35 miles east of downtown Kansas City, Missouri. We're on the I-70 corridor. We'd like to say the right side, uh, Keith, the Missouri side there. Go ahead. Fine business, Keith. And, uh, yeah, it's great to see that uh, the bands have been open here at least the last week or 10 days for us, or I should say for me here in my QTH, and, and 40 has been no exception. Uh, it is uh, quite interesting to see as the evenings progress how the band starts to move and open. And uh, generally it's a little bit because of the time difference between us, it takes longer, of course, here for you guys to start to come in. And uh, we're only allowed so much time in the evenings because we only have so many quarters from the machine. But uh, nice we have a chance to chat with you tonight. So, uh, again, I hope you all uh, have an opportunity to come back. Uh, you're welcome, of course, anytime. We do this uh, just about every evening around 7 o'clock Central is when we start. And uh, like I said, I was telling the, uh, the other station, uh, Mark, up in Washington State, uh, we do a YouTube channel, so we're actually live here on YouTube as well. And uh, we uh, we always have fun with that. So if you're interested in listening or seeing uh, what you sound like on the air, uh, our channel is our call sign, K0RWB. Give a look and a listen and have some fun with it there. Roger. Thank you very much, Keith. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening, and uh, do appreciate you giving us a call, and, and certainly look forward to the next time. You take care. You and yours be safe and be well. November 7, uh, Delta X-Ray Charlie. Boy, I love that call. Kilowatt Zero Radio Whiskey Bravo. Seven threes. Uh, any other stations? QRZ, come with the call, please. Whiskey One, Sierra Tango Juliet. Whiskey One, Sierra Tango Juliet. Well, well, Stephen Howard. No, sorry about that. Got to put it in right. I'm sorry, Todd. Hey, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I've been listening to you for a few. Uh, you're coming in five nine ten over in the, uh, the southern New Hampshire. Wow, that's just amazing. Now we're coast to coast, California, and now New Hampshire. Um, I'll look at the the meter real quick last time around. But boy, you had a great signal coming in on my receive though. So I guess we've got a good pipeline between us there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we had a. So uh, back uh, back on the 9th of October. Oh no, actually that's today, is it? Oh no, no, today's November. Yes, uh, 9th of October. Uh, I think I reached out to you. Hey, don't confuse me now. I don't remember what I had for breakfast, Todd. So be careful. Yeah, it was uh, actually uh, uh, October the 9th. <laughs> but so I guess that means we're due again. Well, nice to hear you again this evening. So. Uh, yeah, if I remember right, I'll look at the let me look at the time here. Uh one twenty three. So yeah, not too much different than the time tonight. So uh it was probably pretty close so we were getting ready to sign off, but I mean, we just hate to pass up good sounding stations there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger, yeah. I mean, if you're coming in the best I can hear on any of the stations on uh on forty meters today for me. So uh yeah, just wanted to say hi and uh check in with you guys and uh love the YouTube channel. So uh uh, I'll say 73, and uh, you guys have a great night, and uh, I'll be on again soon, hopefully. Uh, w one STJ, uh, 73 in your final. Hey, well, thank you, Todd. And, uh, hey, guys, nice to know uh, we're getting into New Hampshire. And, uh, yeah, you, you know, I, if I remember, I had a pretty good signal last time. And, uh, again, you're doing real good here tonight as well. So uh, the band is open, but the equipment has to help. Good. That's a great thing, again, about 40 meters. Gosh, it doesn't take much to do really well around here so uh, hey you're halfway there my friend this is our second contact two more and we're going to put you in the in the regular status category 
and uh, we've had a few of those tonight as well. So <laughs> we definitely look forward to it. So, hey, as always, uh, if you hear us again and you've got time, give us a call. We'll kind of pick up and where we left off, see what's going on. But I do appreciate you taking the time tonight. Nice to hear you, Todd. And, uh, again, hope things are going well for you out uh, in your area. Uh, have a great Wednesday night, and uh, we'll certainly look for you again. You take care. Uh, Whiskey One, Sierra Tango Juliet, uh, Kilowatt Zero Radio Whiskey Bravo. Seven threes. Uh, seven threes. Whiskey One, Sierra Tango Juliet. Click. Okay. Uh, thanks again, Todd. Uh, QRZ, K0RWB, Randy in Kansas City. Any other stations, please come with your call. Hebrew Bravo Zero, Tango Tango Weaver. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Sebastian's on the air, folks. you got to watch out. First, I get to talk to Mike, uh, and now I get to talk to Sebastian. Hey, what's going on over there? Oh, nothing big, nothing big. Uh, just uh, heard, you were, uh, heard you were on, and you were coming in loud and clear. So over there in Beach City, and uh, again, I got the Henry Tempo out here, and um, just running my 40 meter instead. And um, yeah, you, uh, I was picking you up loud and clear here. I was down at the St. Louis Hamfest this last weekend. Uh, picked me up a little something cool that I don't have hooked up yet, but um, let's just say when I get it hooked up, uh, you'll probably hear me even better here. <laughs> it's an SB200. <laughs> I'm uh, ordering the uh, patch cord for it uh, uh, from Ham Radio Outlet, but uh, as soon as I get that imp on the air, I should be coming in a lot stronger than it was. Well, I hope so. Uh, hey, you might want to check one thing for me. You sound a little low on frequency. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, what rig you're on tonight, but you sound just a tad low on frequency. You might want to check that. Yeah, I've been told that. Hey, is this any better? Yeah, you're getting better because I know how you sound because you and I've talked several times. But the first time around, it was it was way it was down quite a little bit. So it definitely came up that time. I think it's great, uh, uh, Sebastian. No, much better that time. No, it's much, much better that time. So, it, yeah, again, if you can kind of tell on the VFO where you were and where you are now, it may not be off a whole bunch. But, yeah, that, that sounds like you, you know, because I've heard you on the on the other rig. So uh, so now, now it makes more sense. Of course, I know the call. Uh, but if it if you if you had a different call and you sounded like I wouldn't have known who you were, but I, I of course I recognize the call and uh, so nice nice to hear you like I know you there, Roger. Yeah, I guess it does do a decent job. Uh, oh, that is when it's on frequency anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be using the little Yeshu uh, E91 with that amplifier uh, once I get her rigged up here. But um, so, hey, there's a Hempfest coming up uh, this Saturday in Raytown. Actually, the Hempfest itself is an independent. It's, it's at the American Legion along 40 highways there. So I'm actually going to stop in there, try hang out there uh, for about an hour or so, and then I have my uh, my VE my v- testing that I do up in um, up in Kearney that I'll be going to. So I'll be doing a Hempfest and some testing uh, uh, this coming Saturday. I didn't know if you knew about that Hempfest in Waytown, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I hadn't heard about it, uh, but thank you for for giving me the update on it. Uh, we'll look at our schedule. Uh, we do do quite a bit with the family and stuff, and on the property here on the weekends. But uh, we'll we'll kind of give a give a look and see. Uh, I did talk with um, with Mark earlier, and he said you guys had a chance to meet first time uh, down in Sedalia, and he said uh, uh, you guys had a great uh, conversation, a nice talk, and said it was really good to meet you and i told him i said well sooner or later i'll get a chance to meet both of you guys there go ahead roger roger yeah we did we had a great time in sedalia and it was a smaller uh campus there were maybe a couple hundred people in attendance there um we got a chance to walk around you know browse some things and you just really have a good conversation it was really a great time and um yeah i look forward to meeting you there Landy, as well at one of these events um I know it's um, just a prime uh, way, you know, to meet some folks or whatever, but, uh, yeah, one of these days we will uh, have to meet up at an event. Over. Yeah, it, it, it never fails. It, it always seems to work out. 
and uh, you know a lot of time it's just timing. Of course, you know a lot of the a lot of the ham fest had been had been canceled or postponed, of course, uh, with COVID and so forth. And it's really nice to see, you know, those starting to come back again. And and you know, some people go into it looking for equipment, but a lot of people go to those to reconnect with friends that they talk to all the time on the air. And now they get a chance again to, to you know to meet in person and have a good good talk and look at equipment and have a cup of coffee and so forth and i think you know that's the great thing about ham fest is as is not only seeing some equipment or seeing what people have or or what's for sale but to get a chance to meet people sometime for the first time or, or to meet again because you know we've been isolated over this last uh, year and a half two years so yeah it'd be quite interesting there roger you know, it's, it's all about, um, you know, it's all about hanging out and making those, um, you know, uh, just making those friendships, you know, and then meeting the people, you know, that you already feel that you know. You already feel like, you know, I'm proud of you like family, you know, after you talk to them on the air, uh, you know, for months or years or, you know, however long. But, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's all about making the connections, you know, on and off the air. And, uh, I'm sure, yeah, a lot of people go just to shop, you know, I don't blame people for that, you know. That's how you get connected. But uh, hanging out is how you stay connected. Yeah, it certainly is. And, uh, again, I, I think it's a great way to, uh, uh, you know, kind of see if, you know, people are looking for different things. I've gone to HamFest in the past, uh, you know, looking for particular items. And, um, uh, you know, a lot of times people have that stuff that they are they have no more use for or are able to repurpose. A lot of the stuff you're able to repurpose, uh, and it never fails. I I very rarely left a ham fest and didn't have something in my hand that I didn't walk in with. So uh, I have to watch myself because I can end up buying <laughs> buying things I probably uh, don't need, but I want at the time. But, you know, it's just the way it works. But, hey, very cool to be able to, to um, have a chance to talk with you, uh, with Mike and with you on the same night. I think once before the three of us were talking, we had a, a conversation that way. But it's been a few, been a while, and uh, the log. Yeah, I'm trying to think here. The log. Uh, you and I talked the other night uh, on the 28th, but uh, it's been uh, June before that. And I actually told Mike tonight that you and I talked the other night as well, and and then he mentioned uh, that you guys met down in Sedalia. So uh, very cool. Nice to hear you again as usual. And uh, hey, congrats on the new rig. Uh, whether it's warming up or just what, but you're sounding better each go round. So, uh, so hopefully you you get an idea about where it was and where it is right now. So hopefully that works out well for you. Roger, Roger. Yeah, hopefully I can get that uh, amplifier hooked up. But uh, yeah, that's actually what I was shopping for. Okay, that's actually what I went to the Hamfest. In the back of my mind, I was like, look, I'd like to get me an SB200 because I've been looking at them, you know, online for a while. And uh, it was funny because the ones online that you see people selling used were, you know, going for at least eight, nine hundred dollars. Well, I got real lucky. I scored this SP two hundred for three fifty. So, <laughs> by the end of the day, and it was funny because the first row of cables I uh, ended up hitting at that Amphis, there it was, SP two hundred. So, you know, it, it's best, I guess, when you go to those places uh, to already have in your mind what you're shopping for, because uh, if you're not shopping for something in particular. You'll pick up anything over. Yeah, I've done that on many occasions, so <laughs> I, I know what you mean. Hey, congrats on the uh, on the amplifier. I think that's great, and uh, yeah, I look forward to to hearing you uh, on the air when you get it set up, and uh, just to get an idea what the signals would be between us. Of course, it doesn't really not really fair. We're so close, but still able. But I, I talked to Mark on, on 17 meters. Go figure. On 40, it makes a lot of sense between us. But I talked to him on 17 meters, so that was uh, quite interesting as well. So, hey, Sebastian, thanks for giving us a call. We've got just a few more minutes uh, before we've got to shut down. But, gosh, nice to hear you again, uh, even though we talked the other night. Uh, and nice to hear the new radio, uh, whether it's warmed up or what. But it certainly sounds a lot better than, the, than it did in the beginning. So, hey, enjoy the rest of your night, my friend. Again, congrats, and we'll look forward to uh, hearing you when, you when you get the amp fired up. And uh, – We'll uh, we'll see how it goes for you then. Anyway, hey, 7-3, thanks for giving us a call, and uh, I know we'll talk again real soon. Uh, Kilo Bravo Zero, Tango Tango Lima, a kilowatt zero radio whiskey Bravo. Thanks, Sebastian. Have a good one. 7-3. All right. Thanks again, buddy. Uh, QRZ, uh, got time for a couple more calls. Anyone else out there? Come with your call, please. Whiskey 5, Charlie. Tango Lima. 
Whiskey 5, Charlie Tango Lima, I believe. Good evening. Well, good evening, sir. This is Chris. I uh, just wanted to pop in and say hello. Uh, you boom into Southern New Mexico. You're a 5 9 crystal clear. You sound great. Well, hey, well, thank you, Chris. And, uh, hey, thank you for New Mexico. First one we've had this evening. Uh, so I, yeah, I just finished with the queue, so it was six miles away. And now we've got uh, 770 miles away. So, hey, that's great. But, uh, yeah, we don't get into Mexico too often. We do have uh, uh, one station, uh, Bullhead City. Oh, no, that's over in Arizona. Excuse me. My apologies. Uh, so, yeah, nice to, uh, to nice to make your acquaintance and, uh, and get a chance to get into New Mexico tonight there. Go ahead. Well, it's good to be noticed uh, down here in New Mexico. We're good. Hey, well, thank you very much, Chris. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I know we do. Uh, we we like to think it's entertaining to some degree. Uh, before you go, we got to ask you the question of the night, though. Before you go, uh, the longest contact you've made in your amateur radio career, distance-wise. Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> I think that's great. Uh, again, we, we do this um, we do this every once in a while, and it's quite interesting to hear some of the uh, results. And um, uh, really quite great to hear operators have had some very unique contacts and distances as well. So we've had a moon bounce into, into Russia. Uh, we've had uh, stations into Argentina, Saipan. Uh, very, very cool. I wish I had something quite that exotic to say, but I don't. But uh, but thank, thank you for that, Chris. And, uh, yeah, thanks for checking out the channel. Again, we're having a lot of fun with it. And, uh, again, we tell people all the time, uh, if you see something better we could do or something you'd like to see or something, just leave us a comment there on the channel, and uh, we'll see if we can get that squared away. But, hey, thanks for New Mexico tonight. Again, that's the first one we've had in quite a long time in New Mexico uh, and had you about five and seven to five and eight came up a little bit there uh, just the way I guess the band is going to be for tonight but uh, always uh, always enjoy uh, making some new contacts and it's a new one for us at least in my log and I'm hoping uh, hope you'll come back again I really enjoyed it uh, seven threes for now and uh, we'll look for you the next time around uh, whiskey five Charlie Tango Lima kilowatt zero radio whiskey bravo seven threes All right, thanks again. Seven threes. Uh, QRZ, any other stations, please? November 3, Kilo Pop. Uh, could I have the November 3 station again, please? November 3, Tango, Fox, Fox, Sierra. My name is Edgar in Landover, Maryland. Okay, Edgar, thank you for Landover, Maryland. Uh, first one into Maryland tonight. So we go from New Mexico to Maryland. Boy, that tells me the band is great. And uh, I do appreciate you uh, giving us a call. Thank you so much. Again, the name here is Randy. Uh, if you've been copying the mail, maybe or maybe not. Our QTH, we are 35 miles east of downtown Kansas City, Missouri there. Go ahead. Okay, Edgar. Uh, I've got some noise on my end here. Uh, you've been anywhere from five and five to five and seven, five and eight. Uh, every once in a while, we'll get a little bit of a crash. It kind of drives you down, but you come right back up again. Uh, but you know, we're 920 miles uh, as a straight line, so that's not terribly bad. I did copy the uh, the 100 watts in a wire. Very, very popular here on 40 meters, of course. And uh, you know, a little bit of everything works down here, Roger. Oh, yeah, I hear that, uh, uh, Randy. Okay, we got to hurry up there, and, and he's going to get on out here, and I'm, I'm kind of glad he came back to me. That's for sure. I don't know if the radio was talking or if I was talking. <laughs> that's for sure. So uh, you have a fine one out there, and I hope the weather is not too bad. Uh, we did get uh, uh, 32 degrees this morning, but it jumped up to 54, and uh, I was able to go out in the backyard and do a little uh, groundhog uh, 
WTSS. You're on the side. That's your file. Well, uh, Edgar, thank you very much. Pleasure is all mine, and I, I again appreciate you taking the time uh, to give us a call this evening. We're generally out here around seven o'clock central for uh, for a little wet, a little bit longer tonight than I anticipated. I do have a couple of quarters left for the machine, and uh, we'll make a, another contact or two. But uh, nice to work you uh, the first time into Landover, Maryland. Very cool. Know uh, know of the town quite a bit. One of the suburbs, of course, around uh, Washington. And uh, I'm hoping that we'll have a chance to talk again. Uh, by all means, if you uh, if you hear us out there, give us a call back, and we'll uh, have a chance to chat with you, kind of see what's going on. But uh, uh, go get those ground squirrels, man. I'm telling you what, we got them around here as well. And if you start getting a bunch of them, you got to tell me what your secret is, how you get rid of them. So, hey, enjoy your Wednesday evening. Thank you again, and uh, look forward to the next one. Uh, November 3, Tango Foxtrot Sierra, Kilowatt Zero, Radio Whiskey Bravo. 7-3 is Edgar. Okay, you take care. Uh, this is K0RWB. Got time for one more call. Uh, QRZ, any stations, please. Alpha Delta 3, I just wonder if you have a copy on Victor Alpha 3, X Ray Romeo Bravo. Uh, the Victor Alpha 3 station again, please. Uh, Roger, VA3 XRB, uh, X Ray Romeo Bravo. Okay, Stan, I've got you that time. Victor Alpha 3, X Ray Romeo Bravo. Well, thank you. It's our first uh, out of the U.S. contact tonight. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, the can, our, our friends up in Canada. Up in uh, is it Pony Pool there, Roger? Yeah, that's a that's a big uh, Roger on that. Uh, just uh, relaxing, boy. You're fast on that computer, sir. Well, I, I'm I'm only good at a couple things, and maybe this might be one of them. Um, if I can type it in right, usually it comes up right, but a lot of times I type them in wrong, and, boy, I sure hate calling people by the wrong name. Roger? <laughs> well, I can imagine. Um, I was just wondering if uh, I could uh, get you to come back with your call sign and uh, uh, personal and so on, because I do not have a computer in front of me. Yeah, no problem at all. Uh, the handle here is Randy. Uh, and the call is uh, Kilowatt Zero Radio Whiskey Bravo K Zero RWB, and our QTH we're 35 miles east of downtown Kansas City, Missouri. Now we're on the right side. We're on the Missouri side there. Go ahead. Oh, very good, there, Randy. Uh, Kilowatt Zero uh, Romeo Whiskey Bravo. Victor Alpha Three X Ray Romeo Bravo. Uh, back to you. Yeah, uh, that sounds great. Uh, well, I'm not sure how far. What kind of separation we have between us, but uh, you're coming in here about 9S units, uh, audio good. Uh, I got no problems uh, hearing you, uh, so uh, I think that's a pretty good win win there, over. Yeah, it certainly is, and the band is uh, uh, by and large has been pretty, pretty good shape. Uh, my logger shows uh, a straight line between us at 852 miles. Uh, of course, you got to take in consideration we got to go across the border. So, but uh, no, a good contact. Uh, again, uh, you've been anywhere from five and five to about five and seven, five and eight, but uh, really haven't had a problem uh, copying you there. So, uh, did get your page pulled up. Uh, I do uh, certainly enjoy the car. I don't know if I could uh, afford uh, to uh, replace the rear tires, but uh, it does look like a lot of fun there. Go ahead. Oh, it certainly is, uh, Randy. It certainly is. Uh, I've also changed the antenna. I. Uh, that uh, Comet antenna up the tail at the moment, but uh, I put up a uh, Buckmaster uh, center fed dipole. Uh, it's about 48 feet at the balance. Uh, the short side is horizontal and the long side uh, goes down uh, uh, into the backyard. I think the anchor point is about 18 feet above the uh, ground. And uh, that's what I'm using now. And the uh, radio course is at 761. Um, with uh, just 100 watts. Uh, yeah, I got big plans for the uh, race car uh, this winter. Oh, I bought a bigger supercharger and a different carburetor for blow-through uh, supercharging. And uh, uh, I want to put uh, some data acquisition for uh, exhaust gas temperature. Um, leaner is hotter and, you know, uh, richer is cooler, so that will help tune the engine. And I'm going to put a different intake manifold got, uh, on it. No, God, it, uh, I got big plans. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. But in the meantime, before I get to that, uh, I've also got a 68 barrel streetcar. And I'll be uh, pulling the engine.
to note, uh, maybe in a week or two, uh, hasn't uh, worked on that uh, engine or rebuilt it since 2009. So I'm going to be pulling it out, and I'm going to make it from a 454 to a 496 cubic inch of this lot. So uh, that should be fun. I, I'm hoping to get about 725 horse out of that. Well, yeah, it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you, Stan. And we'll say this, amateur radio and race uh, and race car racing have a lot in common uh, because you're never really done. Uh, you're always in trying to improve things or tweak things or add things, uh, and they, uh, they mirror each other quite a bit. Uh, the only difference is I think uh, your parts and your equipment has an extra zero at the back of the price tag, Roger. I think you got that right. Uh, it's for uh, quite a bit of money. Yeah, the frequency is in use. I know, and the worst part of this, Randy, is because we're in, I'm in Canada, uh, there is a uh, change in the dollar. So add another 30% to uh, from sales and duty and taxes. So uh, it, uh, it becomes uh, uh, a lot more expensive to uh, have a pretty good rate. I've got about, I don't know, uh, between, uh, probably close to $80,000 in that car now, and uh, it's hard to believe, but, uh, I mean, it, it runs really well, uh, but I just want it to run even better, so that's why I, I spent the money, um, and, and I retired this year, so, oh my God, um, I'm just going to give it one more kick at the can next summer, and that is definitely going to be it for that car. Well, you know, um, uh, they always say you can't take it with you, and I've never seen, I've never seen a U-Haul behind a hearse. So, so keep that in mind. You you, you have to, uh, you have to do what you love and love what you do, and as long as it's within uh, <laughs> within the budget, so to speak, uh, you know, that's what you try to do. I mean, more power to you, of course. Uh, I don't know what the distance is between uh, your location and Buffalo, but boy, if you could. Uh, uh, send parts to an address in Buffalo and drive back across the border. <laughs> Maybe you could say that 30%. I'm not sure, but boy, that does get pretty pricey after a while. Roger. Yeah, yeah, Roger. K0 RWB uh, BA3 XRB uh, identification. Um, uh, well, you know what? Uh, if you uh, the, the sad thing about it is, if you try to come across that border and you don't declare stuff, and they can take it away from you. And not only do they take it away from you, and and you don't get it back, but then you got to pay a fine. So, yeah, uh, I did that when I, I got the, the uh, supercharger that's on the car now and uh, the gear drive for it. And uh, they, uh, you know, I declared it. And the young lady uh, behind the counter, not bad looking, she says, with a smile, that'll be $1,600, Dan. And I looked at her and I go, yeah, that's what I figured. So, I mean, uh, and I said, you said that with a smile. She goes, oh, I know. Uh, there was, uh, that's the way it is. It's, uh, it is super expensive. So not only did I spend all that money, not only did I get the change in a dollar, but I had to also pay that. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the way it goes. Well, here's the thing, Stan. You've got a great fallback. You have a uh, you have a wonderful fallback, which is amateur radio, and you know. And we don't care how much money you spend or don't spend. We 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 like you just the same on the air, Roger. Yeah, I agree. I've had this radio, Randy, for about uh, ten years now. I'm going on eleven next year, and uh, it's been a, a relatively good radio. I've had issues with in the past, but uh, lately. Uh, several years. It's been good. I did have a bit of a scare. Um, had an issue with uh, no audio or modulation. Turned out to be a uh, broken wire in the cable uh, right by the connector. And uh, I took the connector off, cut about an inch and a half, inch and two inches off the end of the cable and 
put the connector back on and it's working like a champ again. So I'm glad that's all it was. Yeah, good for you. I, I, I prefer simple fixes uh, whenever possible. So <laughs> I think that's great and uh, very happy for you. Uh, you're the second person today I've talked with uh, that has a, a, a 761. Good radio, really are. Uh, even to this day, they operate quite well, and they, they sound good on the air. So uh, I think it's working out well for you. Hey, good luck with the with the race season coming up and, and your upgrades. Um, hope, <laughs> too bad about the uh, uh, the tariff, so to speak, uh, the, the difference in the dollar, unfortunate. But, uh, you know, they say there's a will, there's a way. Uh, your last one of the night for us, we're at the top of the hour, and we've uh, we've run out of quarters. So uh, we wanted to thank you so much for giving us a call this evening. And uh, hopefully we'll have a chance to talk again. I don't see a contact in the log here. So, again, thank you for the first one, Stan. And uh, we're generally out here around 7 o'clock Central Time in the evenings for a little while. So uh, anytime you hear us out there, by all means, give us a call. And we'll just kind of – we'd like to get an update about where you're at on the car. How about that? It would be a good a good reason to to, to uh, hear from you again. You can let us know on some of the updates you've done. So, anyway, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday evening. Thank you so much. For giving us a call I do appreciate it and nice to hear you uh, up there in, from canada and uh, we'll look forward to the next time as well uh, we'll see seven threes for now victor alpha three x-ray romeo bravo kilowatt zero radio whiskey bravo seven threes Thanks again, Stan. You take care and have a great night. Uh, again, this is Kilowatt Zero Radio Whiskey Bravo, Randy in Kansas City. Uh, we'll be uh, clear and uh, QRT, and the frequency will be open. Thanks again.